All right. Uh, let's check out the actual... We, we never check out the results of the other matches, so we should probably go ahead and do that. Uh, John Cena versus Carlito. John Cena wins, of course. Lol Cena wins. HBK versus Randy Orton. HBK wins. Uh, I whooped Lashley's ass. Shad beat Kali. And Edge beat Ric Flair. Okay. Ooh, look at that. We're featured in the magazine. Oh, what's this going to say? Stood up, superstar wants revenge. When ECW behemoth Bobby Lashley came charging into Raw, Brother Nero was forced to select a teammate to team up against him in a handicap match. In sorry, oh my god, I can't fucking. I'm against him in handicap match action. Too bad his partner no show. Jeff Hardy chose his rival Kenny Dexter for the match. I didn't. I chose Randy Orton, but okay. But Kenny chose to skip town, citing a sick grandmother. Jeff Hardy doesn't buy the fl flimsy excuse and wants to handle the issue in the ring. That rat Dykstra basically left me for dead last week against Lashley, says Brother Nero. Now I want to pay him back in kind. Uh, when I get him in the ring, I'm going to taste sweet revenge and Kenny will dine on bitter defeat. Okay, well, may maybe Brother Nero needs to work on his promo work, because that was fucking shit. Um... All right, all right, hold up, hold up. We got four weeks remaining on the contract. Hopefully we can go to SmackDown after that. I really don't want to be on Raw, dude. Put me on SmackDown. I love SmackDown. SmackDown's the best. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of shit. All right, pain management and, and endurance, I guess, would be the two to work on the most because I think fan favorite and fan heat have to do with your popularity. Um... And my popularity is already max, so an endurance has to do with the fatigue you recover, I think it just said. Uh, pain management, I have no idea what the fuck. That's probably like the injury status and shit. Uh, amount of fatigue you recover, yeah, and then fatigue recovers during rest activities. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll do just endurance then. 8%, that big success. That's that's pretty good right there. All right, uh, okay, so we're gonna do another one of endurance training, and then we'll finish it off with one more. I think we usually have an email. No, we don't, okay. F didn't mean to click that. There we go, okay. Uh, we'll do one more of the endurance training. Give me that 8%, no, it's a 5%, that's shit. Uh, coach. Apparently, you and Kenny are at each other's throats. A battle like that sounds good for Ross. So I'm putting you against him in a match. Be careful what you wish for, though, Playa, because Dykstra is no slouch. I'm, I mean, I'm going to squash him. It's going to be a squash match. So, I mean, like, you got that going for you. But, I mean... All right, so our endurance is at 92. So, one more session, and it will be either at 97 or... Or at uh, 100 if it goes up to 100, or 99 if it maxes out at 99, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good right there. So one more training session, and then I'll leave it at that, and then I'll work on the other shit. I don't even... Okay, uh, time to go to Monday Night Raw and whoop some ass. What are you doing? This isn't about you, this is about Raw and Lashley. He wants to take out our whole brand, and we've got to get rid of him before he gets rid of us. Listen, Johnny Nitro, you're just mad that nobody picked you, okay? So don't come emailing me about wanting to fight Lashley, you waste of space. Why are we the second card on the match? Why? Why is Shad and Chris Masters ahead of us? Why is JTG and Nitro ahead of us, and... Okay, Flair and Flair and Orton, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I know I know Kenny Dextra's in the match with me, but like, what the fuck, man? Why am I so low down the card? That's bullshit. Brother Nero is a main event super. Th see, this this is why I need to be on SmackDown. Teddy Long knows how to treat a superstar. You know, either that or he just puts them in tag team matches. Whatever is easier. Unforgiven is less than two weeks away. This is that barbecue loving Jim Ross here with the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And tonight, folks, two of Ross' top contenders go head to head. This is just plain stupid. 
The ECW champion has declared war on Raw, and those two idiots can't get on the same page. Well, they are both looking to be named the number one contender. So settle that once the big monster's been taken care of then. He's the bigger threat to both of them. I love that cutscene so much. I only like it when Coach is the is the GM though, because when when Teddy Long is the GM, it doesn't really work because like Teddy Long's not the kind of guy to suck up to Vince, but Jonathan Coachman was. So that so that cutscene is perfect for Coach. Perfect. He and his opponent are both looking to be named the number one contender tonight. We'll see who deserves that honor. You ask me, it's neither one of them. It's stupid for them to feud with each other when Raw's under attack from ECW. Did, okay, I was only half paying attention, but but did JR just say that we were fighting to see who was number one contender? Why the fuck is Kenny Dykstra even in the discussion of being the number one contender? And the opponent. Why the, why? It's From fucking Worcester, stupid. Weighing in at 234 pounds, Kenny Dykstra. I think I think we watched this already, so I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, man, just this game is really weird sometimes. So, you yeah, know, it's it's whatever, man. I don't even fucking I don't know. All right, it's time to whoop. Some ass. This is gonna be a squatch match, bit. Okay, if you could not reverse my shit, so I can make this a squash match, Kenny. Okay, that'd be great. Fucking piece of shit. Beat his ass. Mm, yeah, beat his fucking. Stomp his ass. Do a German. You reverse the German. It's on now, dude. You don't reverse the fucking German. You don't. You don't reverse the German without getting an ass whooping. Piece of shit. Trying to avoid getting your neck, neck, what the fuck, neck broken by the German. Well, I'll break everything else, and then I'll break your neck with the German. How about that? You just, you just cost yourself a bunch of other broken shit. Look at that, German supla, bitch. You didn't reverse that one, you fuck. All right, get him into the corner. There we go. Done. You gotta respect the commitment pin. The it's day. done. This Fucking pin him. God damn it, dude. You couldn't just lay down and take the three count. You had to kick out of my finish now. So you want another broken neck. Well, you got another German. You piece of shit. Fucking beat his ass. I'm gonna kick on the back of your neck. I'm gonna throw you around the ring. I'm gonna break your ass, bitch. Break your ass. That, that doesn't really work. I was gonna say break your neck, but I was also caught between saying beat your ass. And it kind of came out break your ass, which doesn't really work. So we're just gonna. I should have just ignored it, but I I brought attention to it. He kicked out of another finish. Are you fucking kidding me? This is Kenny Dykstra. This isn't fucking John Cena, okay? You don't need to kick out of five finishes. You don't need to look strong, you fuck. You're not Roman Reigns. You're not John Cena. You're not Hulk Hogan. You're not whoever comes after Roman Reigns to be Vince's number one guy. Who actually, you know what? There probably won't be a number one guy for Vince after because he'll probably be retired uh, by then. No, 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 no. We're not pinning. We're not getting the pin off that. We're gonna I, fucking. I swear to God, if my finish runs out because you're you're over here trying to make yourself look strong, Kenny Dykstra. I swear to God. There we go. I, if he if he kicks out of this finish, I'm I'm going to be really mad. This is it. One, two, three. There we go. Fucking whooped his ass. He didn't get in a lick of offense. Did you ever think you'd be watching Fucking these? little bitch. Whooped his ass. Squash match. Easy. Easy peasy. I just got I just got paid for that. That was like the warm up at the gym. Beating his ass is like the warm up you do at the gym. And now Bobby Lashley's gonna be the actual yeah. Okay. What the fuck, Sabu? What the fuck is Sabu doing here? Okay, no, no, he didn't get that far. 
the fuck is CM Punk doing here now? What the fuck? And now, that's not even the Anaconda Vice. That's not even the Anaconda Vice. He's literally just putting my head in his armpit. That's not the Anaconda Vice. What the fuck? Ugh, this game. This game is... This... This game is fucking... Ooh. Fucking retarded. Fuck. The gloves come off. We, we made the magazine again, boys. Okay. Uh, just when we thought the feud between ECW and Raw was done, things have heated up more than ever. Bobby Lashley still has a bone to pick with Raw. That brand is full of crybabies and losers, says Lashley. Tommy Dreamer may have called a truce, but I only answer to one guy, me. And I say this is far from over. Fellow ECW superstar Sabu issued a challenge. Everybody out there knows ECW is the most exciting and dominant brand. Uh, I mean... Okay, Sabu, look, you're a legend, so I'm not going to call you too much on it, but ECW, WWE ECW was fucking garbage. So, I mean, that's something. To prove it, Bobby and I are, I, why do you have to say Bobby? He doesn't sound, fucking, he doesn't sound intimidating when you say Bobby. Like, what the fuck? Just say Lashley. Uh, Bobby and I are challenging Raw to a three-on-two, no DQ tag match. That's me and Lashley against any three Raw nobodies. If there's anyone that will step up to get beat down. Well, I mean, it's not going to be two on three. It's going to be three on three because Punk attacked me, so he's going to have their back. Oh, God. Okay, listen. If I pick two partners and they no-show like, like like Kenny did even though I didn't pick him and I have to do a three-on-one handicap match, I'm, I'm literally just going to lose the match within seconds because I'm not doing a three-on-one handicap. That's just stupid. Fuck that. Give me an 8%. Come on. 5%. Uh, all right, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, uh, so now we're going to go ahead and do uh, mic skills, I guess. We'll do... Okay, so this has to do with website interviews, show invasions, and stuff like that. This has to do with... Okay, so... Okay, alright. So, all this stuff does... We'll do pain management then. All this stuff does is an increased chances of success for the other stuff to improve your popularity. The thing is, like, my popularity is already maxed, right? So, yeah, popularity is at a hundred. So I don't, I don't see what's wrong here. I mean, I could do like the, the attribute growth stuff, but you have to actually do uh, the work and shit. I haven't had. Apparently, I haven't had a championship match. So I mean, that's something. Uh, I have a 17 win streak, and I've been used on the show c consistently because I am the number one guy. I mean, John Cena, nah. Randy Orton, nah. Edge, nah. Brother Nero. Brother Nero is love. Brother Nero is life. Uh, well, that was then from Kenny. I'll admit I got cold feet before in the battle against ECW. Now I know what the stakes are. I'm ready for a fight. We need unity on Raw, and you can count on me this week. I guarantee it. Later, Kenny. Okay, listen. Okay, this is fucking... This is stupid. I'm... Why is my legend status going up so slow, though? Like, that's... Like, it didn't go up at all last session. And I whooped ass last session. Picking your top two partners... We can't let ECW disrespect us. They want a match. They've got it. You're going to take on Lashley and Sabu in a 302 no DQ tag match. But we need to pick two other teammates since it's your butt on the line, Playa. If this isn't Teddy Long, why is Coach saying Playa? God damn it, dude. Playa is Teddy Long's thing. Fucking this. <sighs> THQ, man. They fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I'll let you. Okay, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Dykstra and Orton, or Orton and Nitro, Orton and Nitro, for sure. It's still gonna stick me with Dykstra, I, I know it is, but, you know, whatever. <laughs>